This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires accompanying parent or adult guardian. Mission to 15. I am good, I think. John? Levels? Um, I am doing the recording thing. Good thing. Good job, dude. Let's do it. Always worried yep. about you, John. You know, you Aww, always pull really? through. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I know. We're worried about him or worried of him? I'm worried about his, the, his <laughs> From, record button being depressed. Yeah, right. Not like sad, not but like pushed him. down, you know? The one yeah, technical like thing I've got to do. Yeah. Yeah. I, gotta I, make I, sure. I, I forgot to push the button, boss. <laughs> John, you what fucked was us again. To do here, boss? <laughs> was, it, was this the QA portion of this? Yeah. I don't remember. Wait, yeah. There's a red one and there's a green one. Which one? Because green means go, right? So go. Well, it's green, right? right? It's green. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, he's in record mode. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Uh, I don't want to hit the red button. That means stop. We don't want to stop, do we, boss? That's actually a good point there, John. Very confusing to <laughs> yeah. those drivers whenever out say, there. Whenever you say boss at the end of it, it just makes it sound so good. <laughs> Is that what supposed to do, boss? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. What are we doing here? Who We're are you gonna, guys? Welcome to the Mission yeah. 250 film cast where we watch the best movies ever made, according to IMDb. The list is moving around, but ours is frozen in time. I'm one of your hosts, yep. Stenny, and joining me are. John and uh, Jimmy Nebuckle. All right, Timmy. Oh. And this week is kind of a surprising oh, one. Man. I didn't expect to see this one on here. We're watching the 1996 movie Dragonheart, directed by Rob Cohen. The synopsis is <laughs> The last dragon in a disillusioned dragon slaying knight must Dragon's. cooperate to stop an evil king who Dragon. is given partial immortality. This movie stars uh, Sean, Connery Sean Connery as a talking Sean dragon. Sean Connery is a dragon. <laughs> and a believe it or not, stroke of genius. <laughs> Sir Dennis Quaid himself. I haven't seen this guy in my 20 years. No, I Dennis love them. Love it all. Yeah. Really, you know, oh, man, I love the movie idea. That whole been. idea the dragon is the good guy. Dragon and it heart. turns the whole genre on its head, man. <laughs> hey, man. It doesn't even have to be animated, man. Yeah, like, ah, no, it's great, man. You know, it's got as much historical accuracy it's as the It's not your turn to go first, John. It's CC's turn to go first. <laughs> <laughs> of Braveheart? Of Braveheart. We're watching? we're watching Braveheart. Oh, Braveheart. Uh, freedom. You like Braveheart. Freedom. Free you're, watching, you're watching Mel Gibson go freedom in a Scottish accent as opposed uh, to Sean Connery going, I am the last one in a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yep. That's, that's the that only difference right between these two here films. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 I for some reason was thinking Patriot in my head. Oh, know? Patriot. Oh, well, that's yeah. a close one. Same damn kind yeah. of thing. Different outfit. I mean, same I just, thing. I, I was like, oh, right. Braveheart's the one in Scotland. Yeah. Right. Yes. So yeah, right. Mel Gibson stars and directs in this one. The synopsis is when his secret bridge is executed. That's not the word bridge. That's Her? the word bride. What is, I'm just going to stick is. the synopsis. What? Guys, let's go. So TC there was a bridge that was left out of the film, but whatever. There was. Ooh, John secret bridge. Trivia. Hey, you found my bridge. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that's for the River Kwai. That's not for your movie. Um, <laughs> what they do, William? Yeah. They killed my bridge. All right, so TC, how they about this? Makeup. Bridge. What's What's TC's synopsis of this movie? What would you s synopsize this movie uh, as? This, this, this is, uh, so there's a guy and uh, he doesn't get to have two women that he likes. That's, that's <laughs> oh, the but summary he, Well, of this, he does, just briefly. <laughs> Not as long but, as yeah, he'd like them. But he doesn't, get, he doesn't get to be with them. Right, right. You know, he just gets them, but he loses them. And then yeah. one's alive in his thoughts. And then the other one's just, you know, kind of bang the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's two women the guy really likes. He doesn't get any of them. He just kind of gets a little glimpse, and then he's got to go get stretched out on a rope or, I don't know, throw a knife or two. Or, you know, that's, that's basically Braveheart at its fucking core. It's yep. a dude's movie. Uh, it really is. There's not much to this movie. It's dudes grunting, being dirty, and uh, fighting each other, really. I Time? mean, that's ultimately what it is. And then there's a bunch Crap, of dumb people double-crossing each other. and. <laughs> It's a good movie, though, as far as, like, some serious shots in this movie of, of you know, if you liked Gladiator, if you like any of those kind of movies, this is a good mm -hmm. one. I, you know, storylines, who cares? They couldn't kill us. Uh -huh. There's a king, there's a the fucking soldier, there's some other guy, there's a knight, there's a who cares, right? They're all going <laughs> to die. That's all we know. That much we know throughout this whole movie. Everyone's got to die. And if they don't, they're just badass, crazy Irishmen or, you know, Scottishmen. Yep. Scots, Scots. They're just lads. Fun to hear them really. speak. Love the accents. There's a couple. There's a couple good parts. I mean, yeah. there are. There's a couple funny parts, like the guy when the Irishman pulls up and he's just like, you puts a neck, uh, the knife to the old man's neck, and 
Right. And he talks about how he's crazy. And they're like, oh, you're just crazy. He's like, yeah, yeah, I am. And they all giggle. And I'm like, that's funny. I'm sorry. That's funny. (laughs) It's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of blood. There's some crazy gore in it with like the guy that lands on the post. And then it goes through his belly. And you you can just kind of see him hanging out there. There's a lot of (laughs) horse, uh, like, Horse, I don't know, horse, hurting, horse death, horse violence. Yeah, a lot of horse, horse violence horse in this one. Drowning, horse being dumped in the lake and dead, and horse other, being other. stabbed. Horse you know being the tripped, term horse for being horse hit. Gore. What is that? Gorse, hey. not whore. It's gorse. Gorse. It's gorse. Yeah. gorse. There's a lot of gorse in this one. Huh? <laughs> are you serious? That's a real thing. Or is, this, are you, is this a joke? I'm making it up. It's very gorsey. It's gorsey. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, John. I'm making it up. Oh, He's making it up, but it, I, it's well, coined. Well it's industry standard term yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, Honestly, though, saying. it's it's or it's any of several spiny evergreen shrubs of the genus Ulex of the pea family. <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> sure. It's a shrubbery. You know what a gorse is. It's a shrubbery. <laughs> it's a shrubbery. Gorse. Ooh. It's, it's That's horse a nice gore. Plant. Okay. Yep. <laughs> what do you describe your band as? It's gorse gauge, really. Uh, <laughs> gorse gaze. Yeah, it's just a gory horse gazing. What? Yeah, Braveheart, essentially. <laughs> um, <laughs> I There's not much for this one. I mean, it's it's Braveheart. I mean, everyone knows it. I think if you've grown up in our era, I mean, my roommate heard it from afar. You, it's the same old song throughout the movie. Uh-huh. Right? And then uh, there's, you know, there's just people dying. There's people screaming. There's people paint faces. There's people, you know, running after each other. They're f- throwing arrows at each other. They're, you know, picking up sticks. They're they're doing a lot of gorse. Uh, there's um, really not much to it. There's rape. There's pillaging. There's really, it's a guy movie. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's You're not saying a guy there's Ritchie nothing to it. Se, You're listing off a lot of It's a guy things. movie. It's a guy movie, you know. It's, it's, it's uh, heavy duty. It's a... Uh, it gets boring at some parts. I mean, it's three hours fucking long. I don't know why it doesn't have to be three hours long. If they just cut out some of the slow mo, we would at least lost an hour. <laughs> but I didn't yeah. mind the slow mo. But I'm just saying it wasn't necessary, right? It didn't. It didn't seem to like push anything else along. It was just slow mo for slow mo's sake. But how Especially boring would those shots the have been scenes. if it wasn't in slow mo? I don't know. I probably would have just not noticed. Well, it. I guess he's walking that way. Oh, is he going left to right? Oh, I just saw him. He's like a ghost. Oh, Mel, look at you, huh? Mel just loves to be on screen. Yeah, he does, dude. You can tell he loves fucking eating up the camera. Oh, yeah, he's like, what are we going to do now? We're going to take a two-shot. No, you know what? Put the camera on me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm just going to make a face and stare off into the distance for a bit. He's just talking to himself anyway. Yeah, he's he's directing himself. He's like, you know what? Look good here. What's up, Mel? You're right, Mel. What's that, boss? Hey, what's that, boss? What's that, boss? I think that's brilliant. (laughs) What's Mel doing over there by himself? Oh, he's directing himself. (laughs) Yeah, here's here's what's going to happen. The the English are going to get to rape anybody they want on their wedding night. That never happened. No, no, no. no, no. Listen, listen. This sets this up good. Not not my wife, though. They don't rape my wife. They rape some other guys. I've never never have my wife raped. raped. I didn't want her. But no, no. Some other guy. Right. And, it's <laughs> and the Irish suck. guy goes, you're just a madman. And they all yes. giggle. And that's the, the, the extent of the uh, movie. Credits. Right. Uh, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't hate the time I watched it. I didn't really care about it. I, I just remember this movie from when I was a kid. I think when I was a kid, it was like, whoa. Yeah. And now yeah. it's just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I thought Rambo 2 was really awesome, too. When I see in 1917 Are you or any equating, other movie that, you know, it's like... You're equating Rambo 2, First Blood Part 2, whatever the hell that movie is, to yeah. Braveheart? I have similar feelings. Yes. Or Poltergeist. Not Poltergeist, Poltergeist is a classic, damn it. No, wait, not Poltergeist, not Poltergeist. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. It's, uh, <laughs> okay, you just walked that uh, back it's there, not Poltergeist. buddy. Not Poltergeist. It's, uh, what's the other one with, uh, with, with Arnold in the woods? Oh, Predator. Oh. Predator. Predator. Yeah, predator is yeah, fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's still yeah. good. Predator it's kind of like a predator. It's yeah. like it's like predator, dumb gore yeah, for dumb yeah. gore's without, sake. Without the you know, without trying for any you know, pretending to be historical. So it and also pretending to have true. like emotional weight. Was like this, this one accurately? Des- I would no. assume this one was no. not no. accurately yeah, historical. Yeah, it's it's so far, far off. apparently. So but yeah. I never watched it as thinking it was. So right. No, and it's to its credit, it's so weird and stupid and goofy and overly violent that. You know, I don't think anybody would watch this unless you were a total idiot. And be like, that's oh, what that's what happened? That's gotta be yeah, what right. happened. Right, well, right, right. No, right, but right. if you didn't think about it, I mean, when I watched it a long time ago, and I didn't think about it, and I was like, wow, the cool, and you know, I sort of took it to be accurate. 
just because the film itself takes itself seriously, even though it's really silly when you start thinking about any of it. Yeah, when you were it like, what, um, how old were you when you watched this? I don't know. Oh, God. Little, yeah. Yeah, it was, was a long time ago. ago. Yeah, this is, yeah. TC, you're probably like me. This is one of the first R-rated movies I was allowed to watch for some reason. Oh, I don't think I was allowed to watch. I think I sneaked it. My parents just love Irish it? culture. We have, we're, we're Irish, so they're just like, oh, this is a bunch of Irish people in it. Fucking watch this, even Isn't though it's full Scottish? of Scottish. Yeah. Well, there's yeah, Irish oh, people whatever, in it, too. Yeah. There are two. Yeah, they're the infantry. They're the, no one cares about. That one line with the king hat, I was like, this is how these people really think, though. That's accurate. Like, oh, that's what the infantry's for. But if we shoot them, are, are we, if we have the archers shoot, aren't we going to hit our own people? He's like, yeah, yeah, those could be replaced. They're, they're I mean, Irish. That would never fucking happen. I was like, damn, oh, dude. I could so see a dumbass king doing that. So many things would never happen. Yeah. <laughs> so many things. I could see a king doing that. Don't you think that the soldiers later be like, I'm not going in there, man. He's going to shoot me in the back. Yeah. No, nah, because they got their, you know, some of them got away with it and their families got fed. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. Nothing beats a house and a plot of land. Hey, you know, when you only got potatoes, right? <laughs> uh, uh, John, I'm done. I got nothing John, else. Are yeah. you totally <laughs> negative on this, John? <laughs> I'm not yeah, negative pretty either. Much. I just, I'll be in just, the middle then. I go, yeah, just, you mean the middle. I'm more totally negative just because it, it's so ridiculous. Like, I mean, like you said, TC, it's a dude's movie kind of, but it just seems dude's so... Movie. It's a dude, dude. It's a dude's movie. If you're a dude who likes to feel things, right? But it's it's so it's like revenge porn sort of stuff, and and it just goes, it just does it where it sets up like, okay, he kills my wife and he rapes this other. I'm gonna go slit his throat. We're gonna show some really gruesome violence, and you're gonna feel good about it because they did all these bad things. It didn't really happen, but whatever. Um, The plot of the story doesn't even make sense because like the woman gets her throat slit because she bit a soldier. So that was the woman, like you know, not her fault, but like. She was directly responsible for her own death, period. But then the rest of the movie has him saying that he was the reason that she died. Which oh, right, is right. not well, true. Well, one, one no. could argue without the raping, you wouldn't have the braiding. Right, right, exactly. Right. But so, he, but, but, he I, had no right, part right. of her dying. <laughs> no, but he, yeah. he said he thought, though, that they, they put her out there on the post because they wanted him to come. Right, but and that's not did. true. And that, I think that was on that purpose. He, and that not he, true? Didn't, he didn't show up, so they killed, I don't know. They wanted to smoke him out, so that's why they killed her. So he feels like, you know, that's why they killed her because oh, yeah, of that. Yeah, because the but first thing he said like, after that was, know. come find me now. Questioning no, no, no. the internal logic of the film, no, I no. think, is pointless. John, he didn't do that's anything true, before John. that. He was a citizen. Yes. Why were right. they, why no, did they he kill was, her he to was get him to come it, out? He was there. Because he already had a name for himself at no, that point. He, everyone he hated him. No, he didn't. He like, he also yeah, assaulted. Yeah, in the no, village, they, everyone knew who he was. He fought the guards as well. He fought them and then ran off as well. And he escaped right. while she didn't. So they wanted to right. get him too. That's all. Right. No, no other thing than he was part of that fight. And that's what they wanted to, they wanted him to be punished as well. That's it. I don't think it was anything bigger than that. It, well, it, he's seven feet tall. To the film. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got that you know, floofy stupid. hair, man. Bring me the man with the floofy hair. <laughs> he shall Bring pay. me the man with the one braided part. <laughs> like I want to see him and sorts. slit his throat. A lion with the blow dryer. <laughs> Send me him. Send me yeah. the makeup artist too. Give me the like guy shit. with the hairy bicep. I want that man. Yeah. What's with the, what was with the guy that was dying that looked like he had been in fucking Hiroshima? Oh, leper. Uh, he had like a le- like leprosy or something. I imagine like oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, your skin disease. boils like that, like yeah, as yeah. if oh, you're yeah. being radioactive. Oh I have no shit! Idea. Leprosy, but, dude. I have no real. idea, right? Yeah. He was um, dying of leprosy on on set. Nobody could do anything for him. They said, "Fuck it, work it in, huh?" Yeah. Uh, so transitioning from TC's. Middle of the road thing. Half negative, half <laughs> thing, whatever that was. Yeah. Yeah. You're half positive, half negative. I'm half middle, half negative. So, John, CC hasn't seen these movies. You got to give this movie credit. Lord of the Rings owes this movie some credit. There are shots oh. in this movie that are completely ripped off in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Interesting. Because the Green Hills. The Green Hills, um, the rotating helicopter shots when someone's standing on top of the Green Hills, him like mm-hmm. running up the hills. Uh, was the, this the, the first battles. movie to do that? Didn't like Last of the Mohicans or whatever do this shit Never too? Never seen it. I, I, I think Last of the Mohicans yeah. definitely did that shit for too. sure. Oh, really? When yeah. Last yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that, that. Like one of the biggest scenes is them on a, on a rock. And the fuck, and then, it's literally the same fucking thing, right? Because ah. the Indian, the guy comes up and he fucking, you know, hits the woman and she falls off the cliff. 92. Okay. Never seen that movie. So never mind. But uh, right, those, oh, dude, those scenes are how reminiscent could you, when Daniel he goes on his, How can you like, not watch that one? You I like shut it, it off because yeah. the music made me, made me sick. No, just like this movie. Oh, you just don't like true romance. I fucking hate that kind of music, too. No, you hear Daniel Day-Lewis is telling you to stay where you are. I will find you. Your heart will melt. No, I love Daniel Day-Lewis, and it's the only one of his movies I haven't watched because... 
I, even, uh, I got through da, Phantom da, Thread. Da, 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 you do not da, 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 love Daniel Day-Lewis. Da, 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 I do. Da, 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 I do. If you love him, you would watch all of his fine works. <laughs> the director and the music of that movie deserve no credit whatsoever. They ruined it. Totally. Michael Mann apparently uh, is the director. Wait a minute, now. you haven't seen it. I, I watched know? the first 45 yeah, minutes of it and shut it off. He knows oh, okay, a lot okay, of it I'm for sorry. something he's right, never yeah. seen. Yeah. I know. I have not seen it in a long time, so I, I don't I know. love that movie. Last of the Week oh. is one of my best favorites. It's great. When's the last time you watched it? Hmm. Uh, like last year. Okay. I think me and my brother had this conversation too. He's like, I wonder if that movie's good still because we watched it when we were <laughs> kids. That's the reason why we liked yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, right? probably not. Fuck, this might suck. Yeah, and it, and it was like, that yeah, wasn't as good. No, but it wasn't, you know, the way you're making it seem. Yeah. Uh, but there is a shot at the end, the biggest, like the climax of the movie where the bad guy's got the, the girl and the girl gets killed and she falls off the thing and the father comes running around the corner in slow-mo. <laughs> no! And J.O.J. Lewis comes up with the rifle slow-mo. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the girl's still down the fucking hill. So it doesn't really, but hey, we got good slow-mo. Maybe that's this taken from Last of the Mohicans. That's what. That's oh what no, they're is. taken from Gallipoli. Mel Gibson oh, was in the movie What's Gallipoli. That? You ever seen that movie? No. Is, it, is there a lot of gorse in that too? No, there's a lot of slow-mo though. So he took two... Oh, the okay. two so just to jump to trivia, I guess, for a second. Oh. Mel Gibson yeah, did a commentary well. track for this movie. Of course he did. Up there with one of the worst commentary tracks I've ever heard. Mostly because he <laughs> talked maybe 10 to 15% of the entire commentary length. Did he ever talk about himself in the third person though? No, he didn't. Because that would have been awesome. <laughs> but I'll, I'll shit on him. But hey, he Mel, did. what did you think about this, Mel? One thing that he well, said no. that the tricks he took, uh, Peter Weir is the director, and Peter Weir, okay. like they, they fucked with uh, frame rates and filming, and Peter Weir would always film at like a 28 frame or a 34 frame a second to get that slightly slow motion thing because he thought it looked cool. And Peter uh -huh. Weir's a pretty good director. He did a bunch of like classic type of movies. He did like Master Commander and Dead Poet Society and that type of stuff. Um, and the other one was Terrence Malick. Sorry, not uh, Terrence Malick. It's uh, George Miller. He took it from George Miller from the Mad Max movies, because he was Mad Max in those three movies. And ah. similarly, like, the, the newest one did this, too, where they cut frames out of it, so it makes things speed up. So, like, right. when his wife gets hit in the face off the horse, wham, with the stick, it looks pretty damn real. But they really just film that, like, eight frames a second and just slowly move the stick towards her face and then, like, carried her down the horse and then played it back at regular speed. And then, bam, you got someone getting hit in the face pretty hard. Nice. Yeah. Wicked smart. Super smart. Hi, so, that man. So I guess my Lord of the Rings credit doesn't doesn't. Uh, oh, I'm running out eh, of it doesn't ring true. I think it was uh, copying from some other people. Yeah. Look, agree with me here, John. NTC. But yes. John, you have to right. agree. The cinematography, <laughs> yes. pretty good. Yes, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty great. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they, they got a lot of beautiful things to work with. Like the countryside is just gorgeous, right? Just yep. all of those. Just so. Um, they filmed the weather really nicely. And and bagpipes work. I love I yeah. I like how they do that plus countryside works really well together. That kind of bagpipe sound and and the rolling hills. And again, you, you get that kind of Lord of the Rings feel too, right? You know, where you yep. got, not you get bagpipes and kind of the flutes or whatever those are, kind of that high whistle type stuff that's also sounds kind of Irish. So yeah, right, it, it's right. you know, it's nice that you I can agree with you on that. That it's it, it's part of what makes the film feel very epic you know where he's he's going on yep, his noble yep. killing spree and you see him running atop the hills you know with with the camera doing that pan that that is that lord of the rings kind of thing yeah um which you know i don't know where that who originated that i'd, I'd be surprised if it was this movie but no, if you're saying um, it's last of the mohegans that was three years earlier so i know there are bagpipes and hills and people running i don't know if they're all like Lots stitched together running. with some circling so I don't know if we got some circling going on while it's happening either. I'd have to check back. Yeah, maybe you. this one added the circling and Lord of the Rings added like the Oh, the I dwarf. think helicopters were a thing on set back then. I think that was a common thing. Oh, yeah, thing but did they think the era. circle? Did they just go up and down? I don't or know, they but imagine right? now they just use a fucking drone. It's probably like a yeah. quarter of the price. The, the battle scenes. That's the other thing. Yeah. Pretty, uh, some of them were good. Pretty sweet action in there. There yeah, wasn't there was very some, many boring some heavy things. hitting ones. Yeah. No, there wasn't. Yeah. Would you disagree, John? Uh, I just totally disagree. I've just been cut off for like the last two minutes. Oh, we so got video. Know what you're saying. <laughs> I yeah, got video I, I on this. Like, oh, I can see him. On. I can see him yeah. talking. Wait, your video? Was like, the, I'm still on, on my video. work VPN. I'll shut that off. Oh, I can I see John. Holy oh, shit! This is oh, new. Oh, we should start doing hey, this. John. We should start doing this. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on? We gotta do video. I love it. This is great. Let's do video, John. Dude, we should do video. I gotta figure that out though. I don't have. I don't have a camera right now. Let's order one, right? Oh, let's do this. We should do video from now on and record that, would that be fun. too. 
Yeah, we can start doing that. We uh, I don't know if Skype will work well, but that's good uh, to see you, buddy. I no, it's yeah, gonna it's gonna be worse, man. I'm gonna have a hard time yelling at you when I can see you. Oh, good. You won't be so mean to me when you <laughs> no, see me. Maybe cry. that's good. I enjoy maybe being mean to you. It's fun. Maybe, well, no, don't do. worry, Denny. You'll get used to it. You'll still yell. Yeah. That's true. I'm sure you'll be able to. That's what abusers <laughs> do. They adapt. You'll be able to see. Now my sarcastic jokes yeah. won't work because you'll see the smile on my face when I'm saying them. <laughs> that I'm would be good. <laughs> I'd be happier. Yeah. You know what? I think it might actually Fuck your be happiness. better. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. See, you'll still say that. Don't worry. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off just because I want parody. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. But, but that yeah, was great. We gotta get that. I'm gonna order a, a fucking It'd thing right now. It'd be good to see you guys too. I'd, I'd love yeah. that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Anyway, for sure. Sounds good. So there's a happy accident. That's right. We, 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 the accident was you were so mad at me that I was saying the battle scenes looked good, so you smashed your computer and turned the video on. And the fucking video went on. Damn it, Daddy. So what? So what? What's the? What's your? You don't like it? That's like I the best like part the of the movie, I think. Oh, no, no. I, I Some of the battle scenes, no. Nah, I just got tired of it because it's like, you know, stab, bludgeon, stab, bludgeon. I mean, it just got, it, it, to me, I just sort of like turned away and started to take some notes and do a little reading or something on the history of the film because it, it just went on for a long time. Dude, I thought um, that it was great. Every single shot they inserted that was like a second long was worth it. I thought yeah. that everyone looked real and it was they were all different and there was weight to all of them. And like the gore was cool in a different way like they must have spent a lot of time just getting individual yeah. insert shots i don't, yeah, I don't maybe disagree so. with you there i just really wasn't i and I, I much younger me was very impressed with this stuff and i don't know if i'm i'm just turning into some kind of old guy who eventually is just gonna say those kids shouldn't say that dirt those dirty words and those musics <laughs> or something but get off my lawn you shut know, your hey, bitch. You kids you're, you're not disrespected people <laughs> Like, how, this like, is like uh, a long dark path, back you know? in the day, you <laughs> First you assholes. hate Scorsese movies, and then that's just the gateway to being this total dipshit who doesn't like anything. Ooh. Oh, John, you're too We have Reservoir Dogs coming up soon, and Ooh. whether or not you like it will be a test like of whether or not one. you're an old no. man. Or... Oh, I already know the I answer like that to that. Oh, no. I should see. I should see. I'll see how I react now. Yeah. I, mean, but, I like um, that one, though. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yes, good battle scenes. Carry on. Once you once you keep going, Denny, you got you got some momentum in your in terms of the supposedly posi- less than stellar review, which so far has been quite positive, I must say. Well, I'm trying to uh, you know put it the positive stuff out there because it exists. There are parts of this movie, you know, that there are definitely some talented people that worked on this movie. But the fact, yep. all right, so here we go. So the fact that Mel Gibson won Best Director for this fucking movie makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. The acting in this movie is terrible to the point of it being like a joke most of the time. Even the sappy scenes where I remember when I was younger, I thought they mattered and were good. But now, like the torture scene where he yells freedom, that's, I don't know, guys. I don't Not know how a, to It didn't have it. as much punch, I have to say, it's as so it did stupid. when we were kids. Yeah. It's so <laughs> stupid. Like, the fact that he's, they're trying to get him to, to confess or whatever the hell they're trying to do. Um, right. But then he yells freedom. Which is the opposite of that, but then he gets which the is, quick end. You're like, that's you just gave him what he wanted. Well, so what he you, wants. You don't, you don't yell when your guts are open. Sorry, yeah. you well, just, they, were, it's not, they didn't not go to the lungs, you John. Do. They were playing with the intestines. You're gonna have just a lot of blood coming out of your mouth. Then I think, if, anyway, whatever. I don't yeah, know. I mean, starting off the story, the plot. Maybe is, you can. Okay, no, you're right. You know, maybe if it's just the intestines. Maybe you still exactly. can. No, no, can, no that, I didn't have know. a problem with that. You think you'd be cutting through your stomach muscles there, though? So it'd be really hard to get that abdomen in there to make that yell that they're going to hear all. No, they're over professionals, and, John. They're professionals. No, and, they're, and then there's those English. They're like, <laughs> oh well, we're just here to sort of help. You know, they now he's got the crown. We'll just sort of what the hell they're going to attack us? Yeah, yeah, and also like the the crowd goes from I want to see blood, bloodlust crowd to two minutes into the torture, being like, and Tori, mercy, what are you doing? Mercy, yeah, mercy. so stupid. No, every second yeah, of the plot believable. of this movie is so stupid. The basis of the plot is that this kid, William Wallace, at the funeral of his father, gets handed a flower by an unknown four-year-old girl and then keeps the flower his entire adolescent life until he's an adult and then goes back to the town and was like, I love you. I've loved you forever. Mm -hmm. Even though we never knew each other, we've met each other for exactly two seconds of our lives. I love you. I think they call that that stalking now. Yeah, no, he found her pretty then, and that's all that matters in a relationship. And he found her pretty then. (laughs) Exactly. And there you go. No, I I love it. That's That's all you need. Also, does the thing where it's like, oh, 
she's, Same she's thing helping as the princess. You. She's helping you. Also, yeah. because he's a fucking badass warrior and you're horny for him and you're hot princess and he's horny for you. There's yeah. nothing else besides that in this fucking movie. They try this to like This is what Mill wants. Yeah. He's like, this is it. <laughs> this is gonna we want this. This is good. This is good, right? It's, it's good in me. his contract. It says, look, I got horny time and I have screen time. That's it. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. And he had a part to play Sign. in all the like the casting of all the women. Um well, they were all like basically yeah. unknown Ooh, people he? and He's like, I like yeah. their look, and they, they could also act too, actually. And you're like, yeah, you don't fucking care about that at all, do you, Mel? <laughs> Not at all. He's like, no, they were cheap as fuck. <sighs> I got to keep more of the pie. Sorry. <laughs> so am I going me? too negative for you, John? Come on. What? No, no. Keep going. I'm fine. Okay, you're not yeah. sighing at me. You're sighing at Mel. Is that what's happening? Uh, he's sighing bit, yeah. at the time. I, I'm just saying, yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah, sighing at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also he's that I'm old late. and it's late. That, that yeah. usual <laughs> sighing oh. reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is why it would be so good to see each other because it would just be <laughs> funny as hell. You'd be, you would have known it because you would have seen it. You'd be like, you're fucking tired already. Like that would have yeah. been the joke instead, yeah. you know? We're not that yeah, far right. in this episode, John. This is a three hour long movie. We've got to give the people yeah. what they want. Oh, this is going to be a 30 movie. minute fucking podcast. You kidding yeah. me? We'll just insert shots later. Uh, oh, here's the, here's the, the Lord of the Rings thing, John. The battering ram. <laughs> yes. I thought that was very Lord of the Rings. Yeah, uh, that was. Yeah. I mean, what no, else did they I, use I, back I think then? that, you know, the, these are these are pretty epic for the time, those fight scenes and Lord of the Rings, when we get to it, has some of the most amazing epic fight scenes, but you can see, you can see some of that in this too. And again, I don't know if this was an, it turns out to be an inspiration uh, for those movies, but you definitely have that kind of same epicness of, of these battles, uh, which is, which is, yeah, you know, I, I, I'd say it, it is, it is rather impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I, I, I'm absolutely forgetting about the time it came out. Uh, you know, I keep comparing it to what I'm thinking about yesterday. I don't know. It's a slow. Know? I don't know what it lost to. It lost to uh, Sense and Sensibility, which I thought was really good. It lost. Um, it lost what? The best picture. It won best. Uh, no, picture. it won two rather. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. The the opposite of what I was saying. Right, right. The opposite. I, I you wouldn't <laughs> believe how much trouble I get in because I say the opposite of what I no, mean. You see, I know exactly what I'm talking about, but I just accidentally said yes. the exact opposite. Right. Of what and I meant. usually, I say it with a fair amount of confidence. It's awesome, and uh, yeah, I don't know why <laughs> I still. Uh, Have you guys yeah. ever heard of Gorse? <laughs> <laughs> it lost. It was not a great year. Sense and sensibility. Il Postino. Never heard of that one. Apollo 13. That was okay. And Babe, pig, or not Pig in the okay. City, just the first right. Babe. Right, Babe. Remember Babe? I remember Dude, George Babe. George Miller directed pig? Babe? Or is it you talking Ooh. about Babe Ruth? George Miller directed Babe. George Miller? From Mad Max. Babe. Really? Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's That's Babe? Not... What, babe? What was the movie Babe? Yeah. I'm thinking about something else, I think. Oh, sorry. It was he produced... the pig. Wait, wait. It was wait. the pig? He didn't yeah. direct Babe. He okay. produced it. I was going to say. But he oh. directed Babe, Pig in the City, the sequel to Babe. He went for the sequel, oh, which yeah. was even apparently more forgettable. I can do better than this. Oh, no, what? What a weird career. He had Mad Max, Mad Max 2, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, The Witches of Eastwick, Big Pig in the City, Happy Feet, Happy Feet 2, Mad Max Fury Road. He had wow. kids. Wow. He had kids. Wow. Yeah, fair enough, right? Yeah. That's exactly what I happened. guess. Holy kids. Cow. Yeah. And he, 100%. dude, he kept his talent. He just went straight into Mad Max Free Road from Happy Yeah, Feet and he too. got to, you know what he got to do? He got to have a normal fucking eight to 12 hour day and he got to go home to his wife who was fucking aching on her feet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You make a good point, TC. And then <laughs> yeah, he's just like, all right, kids exactly are in college. Happened. I'm going to live in the yeah, desert yeah. for two and, and a half years. And now I'm in Hollywood. Now I live in the hills. Life is good. I get, I'm getting residuals from those fucking movies that I never thought would be that great. And I'm fucking chilling. And wife's happy. Kids are in school. Everything's great. Got to I'm work with Robin beach. Williams. I'm a happy man. Huh. Yeah, every once in a while he he heads to set just to feel the old times, you know. That's what I imagine all those dudes do. It's just like every other one, every other person that you know uh, retires and lo and gets back into their shtick for like a week, and they're like, "All right, I've had enough." Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. I remember it a lot better than that. It's, uh, I'm glad that that happened. So, but so what do you think? Happy feet? Yeah, happy feet sounds. Good. Yeah, what is it about penguins? That sounds good. Yeah, right. That's great. That's awesome. Anyways. Have you seen on. that one, John? Are you a Happy Feet family? Happy Feet was good. It was all right. I didn't mind Happy I Feet. I remember that from be growing up. Mm. Just a bunch of tap dancing it, penguins. Yeah, oh, I mean that sounds. What was good. the one with the what was the the cartoon with the surfing surfs up? That was Surf's good. Up. I like that one too. Yeah, had Jeff Daniels in it. I think. Weird. Uh, oh boy. It was good. How oh, the mighty Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Rather, sorry. Oh. Jeff. Jeff. That makes Jeff more sense. Bridges. Bit, yeah. bit different there. Yeah. I know. I know. But they're both Jeffs. Can't argue with me there. That's true. Jeff Bridges kind of takes on whatever he wants, though. Yeah, I know. But he's, he played the laid-back kind of super wise, wise surfer dude that you would expect him to be. Kind of the, you know, 
a, a big Lebowski surfer kind of guy. Nice. Uh, negative things. What else? So I'm running out of, running out of non-repetitive negative things, John. What, what do you think here? Well, I can talk a little. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't wait. Maybe you want me to talk? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, other than other than what I've already kind of said, which is just like this is just you know this is just a lot of fantasy stuff where it's like you know sort of revenge battle porn, which is fine. I can understand it's kind of like entertaining in an action sort of way, but but the really annoying thing is when it does. If you listen to the words and the narration and stuff, it it just tries to present itself as authentic. So. So this is from, oh history, John. History, John, yes, coming out right a little here. History from a historian, if you want. So Sharon Cross wrote this. This is from MedievalScotland.org. She's an actual historian. This was like it's actually from um yeah the Wayback Machine because you can't like find this stuff online um, Wait, as what? easily. But this is brave. The Wayback Machine. And, what does that mean? Well, the way like back, internet, the way back it's machine, internet archives, yeah. sort of oh. where, where you can pull up stuff that's no longer on the internet but has been like archived. Oh shit. Um, yeah. Which it's is creepy the, as fuck, the, really. The, but her first one is her first article is sort of crosses is is referenced in the Wikipedia article. But this is like a, a this is just Braveheart errors. It's called it's an illustration of scale. What she's going to say is like just within the first couple of minutes, she's going to analyze the first like say two minutes and thirty seconds, and she's going to identify eighteen errors, eighteen historical inaccuracies in the first two minutes and thirty seconds of the film. Um, most wow. of which, too, she wanted to say, you know, that the first full 50 seconds is nothing but the movie title graphics and a further 45 seconds is nothing but aerial And there's already so, stuff wrong. So still. Yeah, still yeah. counting that. <laughs> right? So listen, great. And she lays this out like this is like, you know, remember, <laughs> this is what the narrator says. It's like it's starting the narrator is I shall tell you, William Wallace, historians from England will say I'm a liar, but history is written by those who have hanged heroes. So it's already saying right. The first line of this film is like, yeah, other people are going to tell you that this is inaccurate, but don't believe you. So the King of Scotland. Oh, so that's not necessarily them, historically right. inaccurate. It's just a weird thing to do at the beginning of a movie. Yeah, well, it, but it's anyway. So so then they say the King of Scotland died without a son. The King of England, a cruel pagan known as Edward the Longshanks, claimed the throne of Scotland for himself. Oh, that's wrong. Um, <laughs> he, she goes on, it's like the opening scenery is from the West Islands. That's not an area in the center of or even particularly involved in. Wallace is rising against Edward. Um, the rest of Scotland does not look anything like the West Highlands, nor did it back then. The appearance of the West Highlands is distinctive of the rest of the Skylands, blah, blah, blah. She goes on the scenery. It's not right. As the content of the film will eventually make clear, the narrator film doesn't actually tell us of William Wallace. Instead, it tells us of some fantasy character in a fantasy world who coincidentally shares Wallace's name. And then in, in response to that line about how the English history historians will tell you that this is wrong, she says, no, it's the historians from Scotland, far more than from England, who will recognize the errors of the narrator film. Um, and she says, history, I like this quote. She says, it, history is not lent by, necessarily by the people who hung other people. It, history is written by the literate, be they victors or vanquished, uh, whether they have hanged heroes or followed them. I, that's a great line. Um, in the case of Scotland, plenty of it has been written by Scots, including medieval Scots who opposed English overlordship and modern Scots who opposed, uh, opposed to union with England. I, great line. Uh, the, king's, the king of Scotland actually wasn't dead, whatever. Um, <laughs> and so on and so forth. More like just historical points. Um, Edward the first was a Christian. Was he was no sense of pagan. There had not been any true pagans in Britain since the end of the Viking era, centuries earlier. He wasn't even paganist, in, which is a much earlier classical Latin sense of peasant or yokel. And then he goes on and says just more and more things wrong here, and just saying like you know that's a lot of there's a lot of errors to pack in the first two minutes of the film, especially considering that less than a minute contained anything more than the scenery. And in summary, every bit and every aspect of these introductory scenes are, to put it bluntly, wrong. And the rest of the film follows the same pattern. So it's like, yeah. clothes are wrong. The hair is wrong. Oh, wow. <laughs> the story is Everything's wrong. wrong. They didn't have kilts. <laughs> it wasn't wow. editing. Paint their faces. Um, his father didn't die didn't when he was a kid. Paint their faces. Right. Um, they didn't ban bagpipes. As far as they know, his wife wasn't murdered. He, he did <laughs> so, kill a sheriff. The Scots did not sack um, York. You know, it, it goes on and on and on. And the so, prince's it, little friend there didn't get shoved out the window. The timelines nope. are all fucked up. The betrayal by... Uh, <laughs> Robert Bruce did not happen and Scottish people were pissed off because that guy's actually a hero. Prima Nocta didn't happen. I think John already said that one. Right. Jesus oh, Christ, Nocta, he really yeah, took some thing. liberties like, here, yeah. huh? Well, yeah, hey, Mel, yeah. what do you think? Hey, no, I think Mel, this is like, Yeah, Mel. you know, I took some cinematic liberties. No, no, you, you fucking made all this up because you wanted to tell this <laughs> story that glorifies revenge and violence and, and makes right. somebody out to be a hero. You want to hear his justification? What's yeah. that? It's that there's no real solid history written on this guy, so he found a poem about William Wallace that he liked, and he based it on the poem. Yeah, fair. Whatever. Yeah, good job, uh, okay. Mel. Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess it was Randall Wallace. That's the 
whose fault that is. Although a lot right. of the, the stuff made up in the movie was done. Just Mel doing random shit while they were filming. Yeah, or, or the writer. I don't know who made all this stuff up, but it may have been the script writer too. Maybe it's not, it's not fair necessarily to blame Mel. Oh, it's Mel. Oh, I blame Mel. Don't they did worry. a lot of random we're shit Mel. day of. Yeah. Dude, oh, day yeah. of, they would just do of... random shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And they actually, they, mean, there are parts of this movie that work better because some of the actors would come up to Mel and be like, dude, what is this? Like, are you serious? You're just gonna, <laughs> like, there's the scene where the Irish guy comes in and there's a whole, there was like a whole two-week night shoot that they were supposed to shoot where the Irish guy saves William Wallace and they become friends. And they, at the end of the shoot, he's like, oh, we were just, we put it towards the end of the shoot. And by then we were all just tired. So we were just like, fuck it. We're just taking it out of the movie. But then the guy who played the actor who played the Irish guy was like, dude, you can't remove this scene. It's the only reason I'm in the rest of the movie. And Mel was like, <laughs> oh, oh, I guess you're pretty whoops. right. Yeah. And then they wow. filmed that the, one of the last, I think they did this with a few scenes, but the last, one of the last scenes they shot was the one where, there was like an ambush when William Wallace was like hunting a deer or whatever. Uh, and the Irish right, guy saved right. his life. They filmed that right. in a day and they came up with the idea in five minutes just to like shoehorn in the eternal friendship that exists from yeah, those two yeah. characters. But they almost didn't fucking have that scene. And the guy was right. Ugh. It would have made no sense for that guy to hang out after the fact. Right. So they're doing all this stuff. And wow. then there's this sort of that? sense of like spirituality about the film at the same time, which just seems so contradictory to everything else. And then there's just, when you start thinking about the things that happen, it, it just makes no sense. Like they did just sort of make it up on the spot. Like they had those long sticks that they surprised the, the English with, but, but but they just seen those sticks lay in there. They've been, Hey, maybe we shouldn't charge them with the horses. They've got those big sticks. Lying no, John, on the ground. you They'll missed probably... it. There was a little hump in the battlefield where they couldn't probably see it the was. ground over the hump. Really? It was. Yeah. They yeah. had to hop oh, over the hump. Yeah. They had to jump over the I hump. Am, I am then completely wrong about this film. Yeah. I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't it's see the amazing. Hump. This film All is amazing. All your other points are now void. I thought, I thought Wallace just showed up with his men and took over that whole battle, so they didn't. Have, they wouldn't have had time to put the sticks in. No, to see, John, I, I had this oh, question that's too. Also because a good point, though. What I remembered from like from that scene is that they ran towards them and then grabbed the sticks. I thought they put the sticks at the bottom of that little hump, but oh. the intro shots of him and his men walking towards, they're carrying. Shit tons of bundles of something. Ah, and I'm like, oh, those I are the spears. Those They're the bringing them late. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they put them in, but they didn't see. It. All right. Well, let let's grant it that one. I I withdraw. I withdraw that one. He but withdraws. Also, but also, the, his plan is so good and he's so smart. But yet he's late to the battle and almost loses half of the fucking army. This guy's an idiot. Well, he's in love. How many sticks? You know? Like he was what? Twenty minutes late to the battle. How many spears can you make in twenty minutes? They should have like started a little earlier. And you know, I don't know. <laughs> That's oh, you went yeah. operations guy on we this? Need, like, we need, excuse we me, need Mel. 20 more sticks, guys. I don't care how late <laughs> yeah. we are. We need I don't know, 20 like, sticks. Could, could you lead by like, example, well, Mel? Maybe, Come I, on. You know, they, had, like, they had a prompt time at which they agreed that the battle would begin. <laughs> I mean, you That's know. how battles work. Stick back guys, guys get, get there at noon. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. There was traffic. Come on. No, no. You had to get there at noon. I'm sorry. Yeah, like Wallace is way late again. Look, man, I'm sorry. He's he's late. Like, you want to start now? we got the archers. I mean, we like start with the archers and then when Wallace comes, we can then do the cavalry. But, you know, because I know nobody likes the archers. We don't even like the archers, but we got archers and you don't. So we're going to use them. I don't know. Just I I just like that sort of like, you know, Monday morning meeting negotiation when the important person isn't there. Right. (laughs) Yeah. What do we do now? All right. We're all all lined up by dawn and then we'll have the pre-battle meeting at nine o'clock. Can we have the battle on Tuesday? No, no, what, no. What, I can't I, I, Tuesday. Can, can I just say, can I just tell you, a boss? Just can, can you? Can we remember to stretch? Everyone, if we all need to stretch, okay. So if we could, you guys just got your little water bottles. You know Remind what? I bet Wallace is late, and I bet he fucking brought bagels. Nobody likes bagels. You can't have a bagel pre-battle. It'll weigh you down. Why does he bring bagels, bagels but no cream cheese? He doesn't bring cream cheese. Yeah. Fuck a guy. No. Anyway. Yeah, that's that 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 would be more. That would be a funny, actually, like you know, take on Braveheart. It's just like the corporate Braveheart. <laughs> All right, who finished like the, the chive and onion cream corporate. cheese? Yeah, yeah, I told yeah, you to save me some. Yeah, right. I said I'd slit your throat. I, I we're gonna have to go to the fucking the totem pole because we got to tie you up. And, slit and I told it. you stop buying the smoked salmon kind because that really doesn't yeah. doesn't go over well in the sun. Who does for that? Three hours. Yeah. No, no kidding. And who wants fish in their cream? No one. Who <laughs> likes this fish cream cheese? No, you don't want fish cream cheese. You don't, John? Yeah. I do. I don't. No, it's weird, Look, I, man. I, I showed fish up good. at noon. That's no, no, all they had left. Fish flavor. I kind of like fish, yeah. but I don't like fish flavored things. Don't, uh, then you don't, don't like fish. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a lox. <laughs> you know, you when like I say fresh. something tastes fishy, it's a, it's not a compliment. It's never no, been I don't a quite understand the lox cream cheese. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it tastes yeah, so it good. So salty. Yeah. Oh, gross. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, it's because you don't have enough of a fish tongue. You 
I think it's just because I'm grossed up by a what fish tongue, a tongue fish. fish. Tongue. He's a big yeah. sushi you know, guy because it is right. closer to the I, rotting I fish sushi, than the, the cooked cod flavor, which is a zero. You know, yeah. So you're a little afraid <laughs> to to go close to that side. I love salmon, mm -hmm. but salmon. you like cooked salmon. Salmon. Yeah, I like. I, no, I like no, sushi no. I love too. raw. I love raw yeah. salmon. I just don't like it on my bagel. I got a very yeah. specific bagel yeah. taste. I want. Well, that's a <laughs> waste of <laughs> both the bagel and the salmon. I think. I want really. the I want the everything bagel with the whipped cream cheese. That's the end. There's not. There's whipped no cream change. Cheese. That's all I ever get. The whipped. The whipped. You're a crazy cream person. Cheese. Jeez, you both are crazy. I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with what? that. I, I like. I like sushi. I like raw salmon. I like you know cooked salmon. I like salmon, salmon. tuna, albacore oh God, I had kind sushi of guy. In a long time. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, I do Sushi's love sushi. Hard I had it last week. It's in great. the quarantine zone. I know. I know. Yeah. That's, that's sushi's something. what now? Hard in the quarantine zone. Yeah. Wow, I got plenty of sushi available. Are you getting yeah. sushi? Oh yeah, I got sushi last week. Yeah, uh, one of our sushi, sushi places all open right down here. the street shut down. Uh, it no sucks. one's getting it. I think there's like, enough. People are I think in LA, enough people always bought takeout. Like, yeah, that's just right. what we do here because we don't drive. You don't want to drive anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere. It's far. You don't walk places. You got to sit there and drive. So everyone orders food. I think the ordering only went up because all the sushi places I usually get from were open on Grubhub when I looked last week. I got Damn four it. rolls. Four nice. rolls. Right down that sounds, the oh, sounds good. I gotta oh, find yeah. a place. Damn it. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. Now I kinda want more tonight. God damn it, Denny. <laughs> I have Miller Light. Wait, who brought it in up? Fucking steak. Yeah. <laughs> All right, You're dead that's with it. your bagels your and fish your salmon. Tongue. With your fish All right, tongue. That's it. The battle with your starts. Fish now. tongue. Would you back up <laughs> over have there? A fish tongue. Fish taste. <laughs> Yeah. Don't mind what's behind Anyways. the little hump on the ground here. You don't mind that at all, okay? We just, yeah, we just had this some is, This is what happens there. when you watch Braveheart and you run yeah, out of yeah, things to talk yeah, about. You yeah. move over to sushi and fish yeah. tongue. I just mm -hmm. think, you know, I'd like you to just come on over with your horses anytime now and just start with the your horses. Gorse. Oh, talking please, about the horses and positive things. Gorse was pretty damn good in that scene. Like the horses <laughs> looked like they were getting stabbed. Oh, yeah. No, it was. They did. It was, they that looked was, real. Yeah. Are we sure they yeah. weren't getting stabbed, to be honest? That's how real it looked. So what they did is they got, uh, they went under investigation under like an international like animal association thing because people watched oh, this movie did. and they're like, dude, you must have been killing horses to film that shit. But they, they showed them like behind the scenes footage of what was actually going on during those same shots. And they're like, oh, oh, okay. fine. oh wow. So wow. just like, what were they edits. doing? Slow-mo? I don't know, dude. The scene, the worst part of the movie, the single. All right. So let's, let's play this game. I want, I want John to go first. What is the <laughs> worst part of this movie? Okay. The worst part of this movie. Ah. Uh. Uh, I know I what, move, know. what part you're thinking about. Do you? Really? Are you sure? Well, if we're talking about Gorse. Yeah, we are talking about Gorse. I certainly fast forward <laughs> through the torture scene because I knew that went on a while and I, I wasn't happy. It actually it. doesn't last long enough. Seriously, if that's like the pinnacle of his life, he really only gets tortured for two minutes and it's not that bad. They like poke at his right. stomach for maybe 30 didn't seconds and they do chop anything. his head off. They held him up in the air. That's it. The yeah. worst that well, happened to like him was like by his neck. sort of thing. Like that's pretty nasty no dude, yeah, I, 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 that's the extent of what you how bad do you think torture can get you are, are wrong can you no. dude what what actually happened to I, him? I don't care i don't want to watch it no matter how coming mild off, the torture toenails is nails coming off i'm sure it could cut. be worse before they killed him the they, they castrated him they cut off his arms and legs they dragged oh. him through the street they Ooh, cut into his castration. intestines and pulled his intestines out and then they decapitated him didn't they like life. cook him in front of Fuck him or something too? yeah they burned him and cooked him they took his body and they dipped it in oil and they actually like they did take his head in his arms Overkill. and legs. That little Overkill. ending crawl, John, 100% factual. That's, uh, you know, you got to give yeah. it that 1% true. Right. So, yeah, Denny, let me play, let me play, let me play, let me play. Okay, let's play. It's the scene where the, the horses are running at the sticks. It's got to be, right? When they, no, all the horses I, I just thought get that stabbed, was good. no? I thought that was really good. Okay. I thought it was like right. the bad, I mean, that was, oh, maybe I'm thinking bad in the wrong way. I'm thinking no, bad, I'm like, thinking like, like bad like as in like, like, I laughed out loud because I was like, holy oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. That's not what I was thinking. All right, so let me, let me, th let me think. Let me John, think. you got anything? Anything mm. stand out? Or is it just all flat and stupid it, to you? It's all a flat blur. I mean, I don't know what, come on, come on. You gotta tell me what, what is it? Come on. Okay, yeah, there's, talking scene, out camp. there's There's so many scene bad parts where uh, one of the Scottish nobles is having a dream that William Wallace is oh, riding yes. towards him in the flames. And there he is. And then, oh, right, and then right. there he shows he wakes like up. like a demon. He wakes up in his bed and William Wallace yeah. Bursts through the door on his yeah. horse 
and takes with a one ball of those... on the end of a chain. Right. And, and the horse is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, it is pretty hilarious. Yeah. So he's like going to stomp him with his horse. I thought horse it was still a house. dream. So did I. Dude, I thought I it was like, a dream wait, too. And dead? I was like, there's no way this is real. He's and then he dead? rode out the fucking door and he's like 40 feet to the right. water and his horse right. just falls he, into he the water. He didn't really plan that well. He didn't plan his escape very well at that point. He's like, I'm going to go in the front door with the horse and uh, <laughs> I'm going to stay on the horse. When they were falling through the air, I was like, wait a minute, is this Mel Gibson's dream now? I don't understand what's going on here. What is going on? It's still a dream sequence. That was it. Cut to another scene. I'm like, that's what happened. They're talking about it. They didn't kill that horse. horse. They didn't kill that horse on that one because it looked like well, that horse didn't. That was didn't just make a dummy. To the top of the wall. Yeah, it was a dummy horse. Oh, but, it was a dummy. I, mean, okay. but I laughed so hard when he was falling down with a horse. Oh man! Hilarious. I just thought it was. Yeah, it was. It was pretty ridiculous. To be like, yeah, all right. So you know, I could have. I could have gotten off the horse and snuck in. And That's killed not how him. you probably, sneak into a house. That to probably would have worked, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And but you'd think no, that no. that guy, since they all betrayed him, he would have extra security. You can't just ride into a fucking house with a horse in right. the middle of the night. But it, it again does seem Says like this who? is like there's this <laughs> testosterone kind of fantasy, right? He dreams he's on the horse coming for him, and then boom, he's in the house with the horse. <laughs> Whoa, right? man. Dude. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's like freaky, so he was dreaming, man. but then he wasn't dreaming, but what? was in the dream is now real and then all right, all right. so he's in the house with the horse right and then he's got to escape right because you know there's people coming in the front door and he came in the front door with the horse and now he's got to go out the back door but 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 the back door there's a lake right there's no stairs right. it actually goes straight out into the water it's right. pretty right. awesome straight, straight into the water gotta, Dude, see, see, see why did we this. build this here? Nobody <laughs> he's, knows. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> jump out there with the horse. He's gonna think about it. He's gonna be like, oh crap, Just from this mouth. is what we gotta do, right? And then think about yeah. that scene, man, where he's gonna fly through the air with this horse. He's like, all right, Mr. Horse, yeah. I know you don't want to do this, but uh, we're gonna do this. All right, buddy, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mr. Horse. Hey there, bub. Hey, how hey, don't look down, okay, bub. We're going off yeah, the cliff hey, here, bub. Don't down, man. I don't want to hear any complaints. I don't want to hear yeah. any complaints. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're jumping off the cliff, you fucking horse. They just lucky you got a job. We're going off the cliff. That's the end of it. We're doing gorse. Like, this is a gorse movie. Don't look at me like that. You I know fuck. horses don't go in houses. I know it. You know it. We know it. This is an exception. Yeah. You're not going to do this back home. Dude, we built this horse for you, horse. Yeah. What the fuck? Go off the goddamn thing into the deep end, would you? Let's go. I gotta. You got to jump first, though, because I got to go and I got to go past you. <laughs> okay. That scene oh, is gosh. the stupidest scene in this really. Yeah, it's, 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 I didn't think it was real. I thought it was a dream all, all the way until he went into the water. And then I was like, oh, right. That's real. I don't remember that from the first time I watched that. So, because it, yeah. it shouldn't be in the That movie. happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where, where did the ball like where did that weapon come from? Isn't that like a, like an old, old, is that, was that, were they using that back then there? I don't know. All Wait, back in this movie or back in reality? Because they used stuff in this movie that didn't. In reality. Yeah, I don't back know. Back then in the reality times. I don't think they were using that then. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's, that like like the, I feel like that's Roman times. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of wrong really? things, the sets they did for the insides of uh, British castles were all based on Roman architecture. Those were all yeah, sets for the interior. Right. Well, I'm just saying, yeah. it's not how they would actually look. So there, oh, I know. There's I another know. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that scene is so funny. <laughs> uh, I kind of just want to make like a high definition uh, GIF of that scene and post it and be like, tell me this movie is good. <laughs> just fucking tell me. <laughs> yeah. Tell me you think this is good. Hey, you probably get some people hitting you up too. Like, I yeah, think your podcast people, sucks. people love this film too. So, I, think I don't your know. Podcast uh, really people love Scarface too. This movie is like Scarface for slightly more sensitive people. People like fucking, yeah. you know, top number one movie on the list still. You know, I don't know why it's still number one. Yeah. I, we're never going to watch it, so be. it's fine. Will be forever. Oh, that's right. We're not watching it, right? Yeah, we'll never get there. No, no, never. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> uh, the, when he threw the dude out the window, <laughs> I laughed pretty hard at that. I'm not sure I should yeah. have. When he threw his little buddy out there at the window, <laughs> just tossed him right. out the window. He's like, as an experienced war person, what do you think about this situation? Right, right. Uh, take that, homosexual. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. That whole, that whole betrayal was sickening. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh. I read some facts because uh, before watching the movie and I was like, I know this part isn't real. And the way they do it is just completely unnecessary. It's not even for laughs. Like, it's not that funny. 
think it's done for like shock yeah, value. No, but yeah. it, all, it does sort of. It does. It almost seems like it's a. It makes me think of the Monty Python sketch though, where where you know in in uh, the Holy <laughs> Grail where he throws his son out the window. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> expect him to say that as he hits the ground. Ooh. All right, I'll, it just, it just I'll do another so dip where we have that scene where he makes the Monty Python noise from. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna recut this movie. Yeah, oh, good it's, idea. It's really, again, just this seems this testosterone filled, very machismo kind of movie, right? It's like yeah. Oh, blah. Anyway, anyway, uh, I what think, else you got for us, Denny? So, I also wanted to note this is stupid, but the second to last shot of the movie before the guys run and and just like I don't know the what's his name? I kept calling him the um, Matthew Broderick character. You guys know what I'm talking <laughs> about? What? <laughs> yeah, you do, right? Yes, Matthew I do. Broderick. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, I do. John Matthew yeah. Broderick. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the traitor. Right? The, the traitor, but then the also he had noble. a change of heart because his uh, gross dad was mean to him or something. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, too little, too fucking late. Exactly. Guy. I do. That's That's I have I that written in my screen. notes. I wrote it down. I was like, too little, too late. You yeah, fucking idiot. Glad you fucking came around after everyone died. Good, yeah. good on you. Huh? And he was about to fucking, fucking kill him, except for the fact that he saw that he was sad. He's such a bitch. Are you stupid? He's such a bitch. <laughs> That's not no, real. I, I thought you mean wait, he he wasn't oh right, right. He, well, well, he betrayed again, him and then he yes. he battled him and knocked him to the ground and you, he was going to well, kill him. Sir, did you not see the acting? Would you not have been moved? Oh my like, god. Oh. <laughs> he laid down in the grass, dude. You know That's what, all John? You got me on that one, man. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. That's really sad. <laughs> did look you at not, that. Look at how did you not can't even see talk. the acting? What did you miss? Yeah. Dude, I knew this movie won a ton of Oscars and shit, and watching the first hour. I just, it hit me and I was like, dude, if Mel Gibson got nominated for acting this movie, the Oscars are the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard of. But he did. They already are. Yep. And they are pretty stupid. But I mean, this is the yeah. kind of movie that might give him an award. They, they gave him Best Director and Best Picture. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, know. the best makeup I mean, it's was that cry, It's that choke cry. He did yeah. the choke cry. You know, where he's like, he's almost crying, but he's like choking at the same time. It's like choke and cry. His acting cry and was just his Adam's apple going up and down. That was his, like yep, the extent of his yep, acting in this yep. movie. Staring off into space, looking at those baby blues. Yeah. You know? And he did his uh, lethal weapon look every once in a while. And he's like, like I'm going to go, pick- man look. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick a fight. Yeah. Lethal weapon look. Yeah. Oh, look at Mel. Look at him do his fight. thing. Yeah. Uh, I loved him yeah, in lethal right. weapon. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, again, I don't know what that, that movie holds up at all anymore. But Oh, they don't, um, but they're still funny. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 those guys the were Mad funny Max together. movies don't really hold up anymore either, which is... I mean, the first one's really slow. The second one is not nearly as good as Fury Road. And then the third one's always been fucking weird. Have you seen all those? Either of you? A long time ago. Uh, I don't long, know. I haven't Honestly, seen I them. I, I saw Beyond Thunderdome. I know I saw Road, The Road Warrior, but it was a long time ago. Uh, I mean, and I don't know how much of like who he is is now sort of tainted by, by his anti-Semitic ramblings, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he was very likable back then, or at least as as a as a younger person, I thought he was great to watch. You know, in Lethal Weapon and and in these other films, and yeah. Are you a fan of Ransom? That it's movie. True. Never saw it. I, I was a fan of Ransom. So was I. I liked yeah. Ransom. I liked Ransom. I haven't seen it since probably the late nineties, but uh. Oh yeah, but that's okay. It's that's where it's supposed good. to live. You're not yeah. supposed to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how it works. Don't don't I actually watch the more yourself. recent movie from him. Uh, <laughs> Get the Gringo. It was, it was oh yeah, good. any good? It's pretty good. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. It's so good. You talk in that high voice. Like, oh, it's no, it's, it's after his like whole "I'm a huge racist" and anti-Semitic thing. So it's it's tough to yeah, say. No, I like see, him, he's but... still there. It doesn't matter, you know. He's, you know but I'm going to take yeah. John's little uh, John. John made it sound. I don't know if we recorded it last week, but John's uh, justification for her appreciating the art that these psychos are in. Yeah, I liked it. It made sense <laughs> at the time, and I'm going to run with it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, remember, yeah. You remember that speech, John, or is it gone already? You got it? Well, it's gone, it's, it's gone, gone in my head already. When did I, yeah. I, you I, said I if we're not going about... to appreciate art from people who we don't agree with, then we might as well just fucking not listen to any type of art because everybody oh. who makes well, good art okay. is in some way fucked up. No. Well, oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, did I say it that 100%. way? I don't think I say I mean, everybody's flawed. We're all flawed. You don't, people aren't 100% perfect. And, and if you're going to judge the art because the person who made it wasn't perfect, I mean, again, everybody gets to draw their own lines. It's still in, in there. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly, I thought yeah. that's what it's I still said. in there, Danny. It's yeah, still yeah, in there, Danny. Yeah. I'm sorry. You just had to wake it up a bit. You just had to prod it a bit. I said it my way, not John's way. John's way is thoughtful and careful. It was like it was like when you it's like when you're trying to kick, you know, get the lawnmower going. It's like sorry. Okay. Yes, Danny. Carry on. You just wouldn't have said it as untactfully as I did, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Sorry. Tact. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. 
If you don't like the people that did the act, go fuck yourself. <laughs> what? Is that not tactful? It's tough, too, because yeah. in, in, like, this movie, I don't, <laughs> knowing that and watching him, he's so stupid in this movie, and he would be stupid regardless of what he did. So it didn't really affect, I don't think it affected my opinion of the movie so much. Yeah. Where, like, compared yeah, to, say, like a... um a Woody Allen movie where he's just like, oh, I'm so much smarter than everybody else. Oh, and you're like, dude, oh, fuck oh, you. It's like, I hate oh. your character and you're a piece of shit. It's just right, piling right. on. When we did any Holly, <laughs> it starts to ruin those films for me, which sucks because yeah. once that starts to overlap and you see, you see sort of the person sort of promoting the things that are, are really awful, then it just, man, then, then the art that they make is part of who they are and, the, and the part of the bad things that they are. And then that, then I can't watch it, which sucks because mm. yep. I really like those films. Um, There's a couple other people on this list that I'm curious to how we're going to react. I know. I think this is the yeah. only Mel Gibson movie, which is kind of surprising. Well, was it? There's a newer one. One of his newer ones made it in the list. It's not on the list when we froze Wait, really? it. I thought, wasn't it? It doesn't sound right, but I I'm, thought he's been in a new movie that was that highly regarded. That sounds surprising. Yeah, I thought so. Now I'm confused. Hacksaw Ridge, Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Hacksaw Ridge. Fuck, you're yeah. right. But he didn't star in it. He directed it. I never saw it. He's actually, there's, he's do, also now doing The Passion of the Christ, colon, Oh, I wanted to talk about that. Colon, uh, resurrection. He's doing another one? I thought that was gonna, <laughs> but I thought that wasn't good for him. What do you, dude, it's, this, it's is, the highest, it's one of the highest rated, or highest no, no, movies but it was ever. Like, like, but, I mean, yeah. but his whole, like, you know, freak out at, during that time was like all Based on the movie, right? Was it? I don't know. Like personally, I, personally, it wasn't good. I mean, yeah, money wise, I think, and movie yeah. wise, it was good. But I meant like he had some fucking problems. Well, I think I think it was mostly just days. try to look through the news and stuff. He had the freak out based on one drunken incident, and right. during it oh, okay. seems to me like I didn't really follow when this was happening. But the news now it looks me like just, yeah, but it looks like it wasn't so much him. It was the fact that he made it so clear that his vision for that movie was that the Jews were the reason that Christ was crucified. Um, oh. So like a bunch of Jewish people came out and they're like, dude, you're, you're a fucking anti-Semite. And he's like, no, I'm not. not. And then they looked him up and his father is like an outspoken anti-Semite who's like a Holocaust denier and all this stuff. And oh. they, they pretty much outed ah. his father being like, you're the same. And he's like, I'm not the same. But then he had the rant. I'm not. I just had a thought, you fucks. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. And then he had and the rant. Drunk. And, yeah. yeah. And that rant was recorded, and that was really bad for him. But then he went out and like donated a bunch of money to a bunch of Holocaust things. Which is all Good you job, ever got to do. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Just right, cover right, it up. Right, cover yeah. it. Throw money at it. Go away. Yeah. Hey, throw money. Well, he's done when you need the money. Right? You do it. Fix it. He just throw money at it and wait 10 years. It didn't even take 10 years. Oh, five years? It came me. He was already making deals probably three months later. It's fine. Yeah, when did Passion of the Christ This place come out? forgives people real quick as long as there's more money to be made. 2004. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm looking up Mel Gibson, and one of the questions is, when is Mel Gibson doing the Jesus 2 movie? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus uh, part 2. That couldn't be better. That couldn't be better put. That's exactly, yeah. The Jesus 2 movie. You, don't, you never heard that one. I wish you'd called it Jesus part 2. <laughs> there was, I was in a Walmart line when this movie came out on DVD, The Passion of the Christ, and there was... This older woman, well, not older, she was like in her mid 30s and she had like a six year old kid and she was talking about how she was going to show the kid the movie because it was important. And I was like, no, don't no. fucking show a six year old this movie. Are you kidding me? It is gore porn for an hour. Yeah, y'all got to say, you're going to yeah. say, you're going to say it's important. Okay. It's important. It's important yeah. to and know your exactly. background. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. And they're not going to wear the mask. Let's say they're the same people too. Yeah. It's important to watch the movie. It's, not important to wear the mask. It don't do nothing. <laughs> you're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're not going to have to edit it out, but it's, it's no. true. It's, it's like, you know, yeah. I, yeah, I've gotten into an argument yesterday about the bass with somebody. He's like, it doesn't do anything. I'm like, for you, you're missing the point. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with you? I become an Italian. I'm like, no, well, come on. I went, Joe. Come on. Yeah. You know, let's, let's, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's funny, John. The world is ending. It's hilarious <laughs> because people are stupid, yeah. and the world is know, ending because I they're know. stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny. Uh, yeah, it's it's hilarious. hilarious. What, what else can you do? Hey, but I got a webcam coming, so at least we'll have our fucking Good. video chat oh, now. Jenny, nice. get on it, dude. You're on it. I got forty oh, bucks webcam. in now. You fucked. You got to get one. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, forty bucks. Send me the link. I'm gonna get the same one. Uh, hey, can we take a two minute break? I have, a, I have a decent amount of commentary to get through, and I kind of am hot right oh, now. Oh, we have more be. of this? I thought we were going to end. No, we got we got commentary. All right, sure. Yeah, All right, go ahead. All right, let's do the commentary. I got to take a leak, too. Fuck it. 